Hello everyone, this is Tara Queen Jamela here to do your pick a card. This is what you're attracting to you. So I'm gonna like, guys, I am just really, really in the mood to do these readings um, for the channel. I've got a new deck that is coming, so I will be doing a lot of my readings with that new deck. I cannot wait. Uh, in fact, I've been waiting and holding out of doing uh, personal readings for clients because of that, unless it's like, you know, not but just put like the past day or so, because it only takes about a day or so to get here. So anyway, I am excited to come to you guys with this uh, reading. I've been doing these a lot. They are very, very fun. And so I just still like to let you guys see the divination process of it all. Um, but then I get everything set up. So unlike the last one, I won't, you won't be able to see any pictures in the thumbnail. Like I'll, I'll make sure that I take a good picture and get a good thumbnail going. So I am going to be using the Law of Attraction deck for this particular reading. And we're going to look at what are you attracting to you. So you're going to pick the card. And uh, this is what you're attracting to you currently. Now, uh, you know, I can guarantee probably about what, uh, maybe a 90 to 95% accuracy on these. Um, I, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I do believe they are going to be uh, pretty accurate, you know, especially if you pick the card. So just let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for clicking on the link. If you are new, if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you are a new subscriber, thank you for subscribing. And if you need a private read, the link to my website is below. All right. So I am going to shuffle. I'm going to call, first of all, Archangel Michael for protection. Uh, we always do that. We call to the east for clear perception, the south for, um, for strength, the west for, um, you know, healing, and the north for stability and strength. So... You guys can't really see it, but I actually have candles in each direction over here, so you can only see a couple of them. But All right, I am going to call to the spirit guides, ancestors. Okay, um, show me what message you have for the thing that I'm doing. Okay, which spirits know that you're going to pick a card. What messages do you have for those people that are going to pick a card? And then, uh, what message do you have for those people? Okay, as far as what they are attracting to them. Okay, and we'll say May of 2018. This may be good for um, April, but thank God we are out of Mercury retrograde. Thank God. I have, uh, I was just done with Mercury retrograde. Do you understand me? I was so done with it. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and cut the cards. And I'm just going to randomly lay them down. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and... some stones on top of them. Okay, so we're just going to sit here and meditate for a few moments while you pick your card, and then I'm going to get started with the reading. So this is going to be what are you attracting to you. Pick the one that you want. I am going to start by this one in the middle, okay? So if you pick this card, you picked the uh, temperance card. You picked the temperance card. So what this card means, and this deck, <laughs> guys, please forgive me. Oh, thank you, goddess. Please forgive me for... This deck just being, it, it's, you know, you know the meaning when you know what card it is, but it just, yeah. So this is the temperance card in this deck. 
And what this represents is that if you pick this card, you may be a little codependent and you might attract codependent people to you. Okay. Um, a lot of you may be at attracting uh, energetic people that basically um, drain you energetically. So I believe that that is what that card means. I also do believe that um, you definitely whenever the temperance card shows up, this is representing where a person needs to have balance in their life. But as far as with the law of attraction, I feel as though this is where you possibly do not do things even like you give either way too much of yourself or not enough. Okay, so but just to let you know, just according to that law of attraction thing. Um, I feel like uh, you possibly are attracting a lot of drama to yourself. I feel like you, um, you're you possibly feeling right now that you're being treated unfair or unfairly, but that is because of the energy that you put out there, okay? So I am going to take the deck and throw an advice card, okay? little spin on it. Spirit, what advice do you want to give to the person that pulled this card? Okay, so the Neve of Coins, so they are talking about your confidence, your self-confidence in yourself, uh, your self-worth, your self-value. Okay, maybe possibly even putting yourself first, putting yourself as number one, and then also grounding yourself, getting security in your life. But I feel like it's directly for whoever chose this card, okay, that you possibly have some, some issues dealing with insecurities, underlining issues. So it, it's kind of almost like this desperation that you attract, Okay, so I'm sorry. I hate to be the one to tell you that. Let's pick the next card. I want to pick this one. If you pick this card, you picked the four of coins. So I feel like that card is representing where you possibly are attracting possibly people that are trying to like, I feel like you are way too wide open. I feel like you are attracting people that want to just take advantage of you. And they do take advantage of you. I feel like if you pick that card, you are attracting that negative energy to where you won't let anybody in. And it and 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 so I feel like either you won't let anybody in or people won't let you in. Again, it has something to do with insecurity. Definitely and blatantly, I feel like if you chose this card, you're sort of a little bit, you you know, you're at a phase where you're sort of possibly getting some kind of intervention for the issue. Now, the four of coins, I feel like you attract a lot of narcissistic people. Possibly the reason why you attract negativity is because you are very positive, okay? For some reason, negative people are attracted to very positive people. You know, no one will ever understand why. But let's throw an advice card. I also feel as though you are attracting people that possibly want to take advantage of you. So the advice card for you is the five of wands. So I feel as though in general, if you chose that card, it is because you're putting out bad vibes. It is because you're putting out bad vibes to people. And that is why you are attracting so many people. So your perception of reality might be that everybody in the world is bad. But see, it's coming from you. It's coming from inside of you. Okay, so it does have something to do with the energy that you're attracting to you. You may be a person that wastes way too much of your time competing with others. And so when you... Do things like that. It does carry that narcissistic type of energy. 
And so that's why you are affected by narcissism because you attracting you're attracting it to you. Maybe even selfish people that you could be attracting to you. Uh, let's choose this one with this really, really pretty. Oh, that one's so pretty. It looks like a moonstone. If you chose this card, you chose the high priestess. So what you are attracting to you is possibly a lot of, well, I will tell you that you're attracting things left and right. You're very attractive to people. If you chose that card, your energy is very attractive to people. If you chose the high priestess. Now you may be attracting people that are not honest with you, but it might be because they are intimidated by you. So if you're constantly running into an issue with, uh, you know, people not being open to expressing themselves to you or really secretive people, and I feel that it is because of the energy that you put off is that you may be intimidating if they tell you, you may want to take a softer approach. Now, I will throw a card. I'm going to throw the advice from the spirits. and Well, I'm going to tell you what my advice would be. You catch more flies with honey than vinegar, and you catch better quality flies, okay, than... <laughs> so I feel as though you could be a little bit more approachable, okay? I feel like you could be more approachable. Let's see what advice spirits want to give. What advice do you want to give to the person that chose this card? Uh, that card knew it wanted to come out, so the five of... <laughs> coins in the reverse position. Got to work on your security issues. For some reason, I don't know why this is coming up over and over again. The spirits led me to do these readings. It's because you're afraid to let people in. And you're carrying some kind of hurt with you. Okay, so you need to heal... <clears throat> Heal from that situation, mind, body, and spirit, okay? All right, let's see. Did you choose this one with the big old crystal, uh, crystal on it? You chose the king of swords in the reverse position. Now, we don't necessarily have to leave it in reverse, but it did come up in the reverse position. But what I will tell you is probably what you are attracting to you is, again, a bunch of people that are possibly unclear about who they are. I feel like you may be attracting a lot of people that... Are sort of misunderstanding you. I feel like if you chose that car, you're possibly misunderstood a lot. And it's possibly difficult for you to, um, you know, for you to uh, be clear on things. I, I feel as though it is because you do hold back. I feel like you do need to be clear in your communication with people. I think telling people exactly what you want, what you expect, will weed out a lot of disappointment. feel like you possibly are attracting a lot of bitter people to you if you chose that card. Spirit, give me some clarity, advice for, for, for whoever chose this card. Now, tell me how accurate I am. I'm going to do a couple of more of these when I'm done. This one is pretty intense, though. Okay, the three of swords in the reverse position. So the reason why you are attracting those people is, first of all, I feel as though you are carrying some kind of spiritual transfer. I feel like what I can sense with that is that the heartbreak, like, like whatever bitterness, it's like you're wearing your heart on your sleeves. And I feel as though people feel as though they can just hurt you and do whatever they want to do to you because, you know, you're so possibly emotional. That's why the Three of Swords comes up. So I do feel as though on some level that is accurate for some of you. But then again, some of you, I feel as though you have an ex that was able to turn people's perception of you. 
and you need to be very clear. You're actually not really, you're living up to the expectations or what people said about you. You're not proven otherwise. So your ex who possibly is an air sign or you may be an air sign, like for some reason, it's almost like that person ruined your life. Okay, so some of you, it's that. So a lot of you are, it's, it's people's perception of you. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to make sure that people perceive you the way you want to be seen, not the way somebody else does. Okay, all righty, let's move on. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. We'll, we'll save the pink quartz one for last. Uh, this is a really, really beautiful uh what are these? These are jaspers, and it looks a lot like tiger's eye. You chose the eight of cups. So if you chose this card, <clears throat> it possibly seems like everybody abandoned you. It might seem like everybody sort of... <sighs> either leaves you behind you may possibly be dealing with loss <clears throat> you might attract people to you that are emotionally broken you may attract people to you um, you know that might be ha might have alcoholism that runs in their family the reason why is because there is a certain destiny or a certain type of people that you're supposed to help so i feel like you you know you attract people that have you know issues with um you know with their childhood okay and you may be at a point where you are trying to move past your childhood as well so i'm gonna throw an advice card at this because um i really honestly my intuition isn't giving me anything on this card. So I'm going to ask Spirit, what advice do you want to offer to the folks that chose this card? The Four of Swords is the advice. So right off the bat, I feel like Spirit Guides are saying that you need to separate yourself from something, from some kind of negative situation. They're saying to separate yourself, clear your head. They're saying give yourself time to clear your head. Take a break from whatever it is that you're doing. Maybe a vacation. Pamper yourself. I feel like Spirit Guides is saying you've been taking care of so many other people that you need to now pamper and take care of yourself. Okay. So that is what I will say with that one. And then also I feel like spirits is saying where you may be at a point where you do need to reevaluate life. Okay. All right. Moving on to the last one. And I'll move the stones from off of all of these. Pink quartz. If you chose this card, you chose the one of wands. So if you chose this particular card, you know, you are attracting a lot of good energy to yourself. You are attracting new beginnings. You are manifesting the things that you want if you chose that card. Um, if you don't feel like you're not manifesting what you want, be patient and it will come this month in May. Um, I feel like you are, I feel like you are attracting money. You are attracting friends. You are attracting people that are attracted to you, um, you know, you may have, you know, started a new job, a new business, a lot of people are flocking to you for help, um, a lot of people are showing you respect, I feel like you are attracting good things to you, so it's funny how all of the rest of the cards, but if you chose this one, you know, and there's a reason why you chose that one, so give me feedback, guys, as to uh, you know, what you think of these readings. Absolutely. I love doing these so, so much. <laughs> and I figured that doing these would tide over because I love doing readings for the channel. I figured that, you know, this would tie me over until I get my new deck of cards in. So I'm so excited about that. Anyway, there's lots to do, but 
you're attracting new opportunities, new beginnings. You're probably starting over with people in the past. You know, you're having, you've overcame and triumphed a lot. So I feel like also you may be attracting a lot of sexual energy to you. Okay. Use it wisely is what I'll tell you. I'm going to throw an advice card. And I feel like this is the advice card because it flipped over the star card. Feel like your spirit guides are saying the sky's the limit. Um, you know, there's possibly nothing that you can't manifest for yourself at this point. Um, I feel like spirits are saying also continue to be an inspiration to people. So you're probably someone that is very inspirational to people. <clears throat> now, just to let all of the rest of you people know that chose the other cards, all of these cards may apply to you at the same time in the month of May. So don't get upset, but I feel as though take the lesson of the other cards though, okay? Take the lesson of the other cards, okay? Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. I enjoyed doing this reading again. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you need a private reading, the link to my website is below. And I'll see you guys next time. Blessed be. Oh, I'm sorry. Love and light and blessed be.